Francisco, thank you. He says, for most people, I feel that a CPU upgrade should reflect a noticeable 1440p performance since the majority is migrating towards that level. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. A lot of people like to say that they're not because they look at the Steam Hardware Survey. The problem with the Steam Hardware Survey is it covers every computer on Earth that has Steam installed. My Core 2 Quad has Steam installed. Don't read more into it than you should. A ton of laptops and basic machines have Steam installed. A lot of uh, esports cafes in India and China oh, yeah. have oh, Steam installed. Uh -huh. yep. Just because a majority of the computers on Earth are 1080p does not mean enthusiasts are on 1080p. It doesn't mean that Westerners and people I know some of you watching us right now may be on 1080p. Oh, that's an interesting poll question. Why don't you do that? What resolution are you watching on? Okay. That's a... That's actually... That's a really good question you had. You're oh smart. Gosh. You're amazing. I'm brilliant. She's wise. And <laughs> wisdom can often trump brilliance. What resolution are you using right now? Now, they could be at 8K. They could be at... Um, 720p. 20p. Would you like to know what's hilarious about that? What? I am old enough to remember when HD first came out. Fun fact, HD is not 1080p. No, that's FHD. Smart cookie. Full HD is 1080p. HD is 720p and it always has been. So if you say I have an HD monitor, that's only assuring that it's at 720p. FHD is 1080p and 4k is a lie as well because 4k monitors are in fact not 4k Ooh. they're uhd there you go uhd and 4k aren't the same now we all know what everybody means when they say 4k because the true 4k is a professional level standard used in movie theaters and video productions it is not used here it's a different aspect ratio it doesn't matter yeah, yeah, yeah. so Ooh, 1080p and 1440p are head to head who's gonna win On Prime Day, we got a trio of 27-inch 1440p 144 hertz IPS monitors with one millisecond response times for the kids for 200 bucks each mm. with adjustable stands, no less. There is... N for enthusiasts with new modern hardware, I should caveat that. Not everybody watching us has the money or the budget for new modern hardware. If you're watching us on an i5 6600K and an RX 580 and you have no money for an upgrade because money's tight but you enjoy technology, welcome. You are absolutely welcome here. That is totally fine. If your budget and life circumstance doesn't allow better, that's cool. You are still a member of the PC Master Race and I do not look down on you at all. We are all in that place at some point in life and it is okay to be there. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And you could be at 1080p and I would not knock you for it. Heck, you could be at 720p and be fine. I get it. There are absolutely people in the world to whom they're grateful to have any working computer. However, anybody saying, you know, i5, 13600K this, Ryzen 750, 700X that, RTX 4070 this, RX, 6800 XT that, every one of those people should be on at least 1440p. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a, when I say these comments, it should be colored in the fact that anybody with the money to upgrade to recent nice hardware of the past three years, mm -hmm. recent nice video cards of the past three years, mm -hmm. and has a moderately reasonable Western style budget. They don't live in Indonesia making four days, four dollars a week. Right should all be in 1440p or 4k. It's interesting looking through the chat. Yeah. A lot of people are doing 1080p on their phones and if they game 1440p. 1080p on their phones. Yeah, they're watching on their phones. They're watching the stream on their phone. What phones are 1080p anymore? I don't know. 
But several people said that. What's the last phone we owned that was 1080p? Ooh. Was that our Samsung way back when? No, our iPhone 6 was 1080p. Our iPhone 6? Yeah. But the iPhone 10 that replaced it was above that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like. and the 13 is above that. Um, there are probably some cheap budget phones that are still 1080p, but it's been a while. Even basic stuff's been to 1440p for a while. Anyway. Not that I'm the biggest phone expert in the world, but I mean, it's not been expensive to put 1440p on a phone for a long time. Mm. What resolution are you using right now? 1440p is 40%, 1080p is 36%, uh, 18% is 4K, and then something else 4%. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, hang on. Lots of phones are 1080p. Samsung Galaxy S phones are 1080p. They used to be 1440p. Really? They went down to 1080p? I missed that. Yeah, see, even Deviant above that. Right there. Lots of them are 1080p. You scroll through there, you'll see 1080p. Maybe I just look at too many premium phones, and that might be a failing on my part. No way! Oh. The Samsung Galaxy S23, well, in fairness, um, I know you're going to be shocked to hear this, my love. But let's be honest. Am I a Galaxy S23 or Galaxy S23 Ultra kind of guy? You're an Ultra. This is probably why I miss this. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is 1440p. Highlight it. So Galaxy S23 Ultra, 1440p. And then the Galaxy S23 Plus is 1080p. 6.6 inch screen, 1080p. And then 6.1 on the 23. I think my problem is I've probably only been looking at the top end of each model. Wow, that shocks me. Flat FHD Plus. 1200, 1200. Better adaptive refresh rate. Yeah, I see that. That's got that. That should help in power. Although I'm sure it still sucks power down like it was going in the style. That's interesting. There you go. There once was a fairy cod enough. All right, we're up to Spencer. Do you want to say anything more about that? Yeah. See, Nick says that his S22 Ultra. The Ultras have been 1440p for years now. Now you've got me curious. Um, oh, that's interesting. So the iPhone 13 mini has a 1080p screen. The iPhone 13 is a tween resolution because they do the retina stuff. 11. So it's better than 1080p, but it's worse than 1440p. It's 1170. 70. However, do you notice they don't put the uh, Max on there? No. Nope. Where is... It's not quite 1440p, but it's close enough. It's uh, 1284. So no, it isn't 1440p. Yeah, but the uh, vertical resolution is above it. Mm -hmm. That's true. 120 hertz, or up to. So if you do, it's about the same pixels. Um, so the one on the left, this is 1440p. 2560 by 1440 is 3.686 million pixels. The iPhone 13 Max is okay, I mean, it's within spinning distance of the pixel count. It is. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, Paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. 
Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. I haven't looked at the non-big, I that's where I probably missed it. I don't do phone reviews, but no. it's a fair, I appreciate the feedback and corrections from the people in chat. Your comments are welcome. Um, well, look on the bright side. When multiple people said, no, that's not right. I'm like, hmm. Let me look.